Ghost here and welcome back to another vlog. So, it's actually like almost 8 o'clock at night. And if you hear, it's probably, if you probably can hear, it's raining. Tin roof, bad problem. But, we're back out here working on the axle and stuff. My cousin's actually taking the um, shackle. If my camera is a little bit foggy. <laughs> shackle um, off of the leaf springs because I want to powder coat those. I do have the powder coat machine. I ordered my powder coat, uh, my powder, my powder for my powder coating, powder coater. Powder, powder coat. <laughs> Anyways, it should be here hopefully by next week, but wait, everything is crazy now with shipping and stuff because of Christmas. It might be longer, but we are going to be putting some new brake lines on. Um, I want to be putting the wheel cylinders in and then running the brake lines. He's going to be working on that. So, Hopefully by the end of tonight, we have some new brake lines and stuff, so when we put it in the truck, we'll be good. Love the finish, everything look good. Looks real good. Perfect. But, watch the vlog before if you want to see us paint this. Well, me, because I was alone that day. She was not doing anything, and I, he just wasn't here, so. But, got anything to say to the camera? Just look at it and be like, woo, America. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm sorry, but we gotta have the heat on because it's too cold in here. But we got our brake line. I've said that before. We got our fittings and everything. I want to double check, but um, I do have that. I was actually looking because I was like, I can't find that piece, but it was actually made onto the hose. But before I bought this, I actually bought this. It's a T. It's a three sixteenths that I could have ran and then um, that would have came out and it went to this hose. That's just kind of what I was going to do. But we do have the hose. The only thing I have to do is I have to get like the holder for this. So this gets up to a frame and then the brake line connects to that. But we're going to mount this today along with bending some of this. We don't need this, but I have it just in case we do. Got that. We gotta run our brake line here. And here. So I guess we'll go ahead and put our real cylinders on. But I, I'm trying to be all professional and I don't know where my dang on blade went. Right there. I thought I put it in the pocket. No, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope oh, you wouldn't put that in your pocket. Well, knowing me, I probably would. Alright. Oh, look at all this new stuff! Yeah. What size bolt do you think this is? Dun, dun, dun. What size bolt do you think it is? 
If you guess it correctly, I'll let you put that one on there. Well, that's a rip. Not a seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths. Come on down. Seven sixteenths. Let's see if he's right. No. Not right. Maybe. This one will work. That's right. You said nine sixteenths? No. Yeah, it's seven sixteenths. There you go, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's put this on. Uh, all this new stuff. See, you thought it was going to be on its side, didn't you? Sucker! Get up on in there. And that's till you get better. Alright. Alright, we'll wait till you get some of that. We got our little bleeder. Luckily, I actually have a brake uh, bleeder thing, so when we go bleed these, won't. But we, we got a long ways to go before we do that. But we're going to take those off and we'll start making our uh, really clean transition. I want it to look nice and clean. To go up there. We actually have one there too. Uh, emergency brake cable. Not doing that. We're going way off emergency brake cable. So we'll have it coming out this way and go through. All right. Well, we're going to tighten these up and then uh, start playing some routes with some rods. All right. So I got this. And I told one of my buddies online, Simpatern, he actually lives in West Virginia. I'll tell you about him in a minute. Um, I was like, yeah, I got that copper brake line. He's like, you better watch out because some crackheads are going to steal your copper brake lines. I told him, I said, they will see all the rust and dents on this truck. They're going to leave me money. It sounded like a little like... <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Yeah, look at that. We have a flaring tool. Flaring. There's going to be some flaring going on here. All right. Which one do you think it is, man? I'm pretty sure I believe this is to the things. Those. Maybe. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. All right, which? That one. It's going to be that one? No, that's too good. You think? This one? I don't know. How about we try it? It's alright. I'm a professional. First try. Ooh, yeah, it don't fit. Does yours fit? Mm -hmm. Do you use a little tiny one? The little one. He's like Johnny on the spot with these things. He's done like 50 million of them. There we go. All right. Look at that. Would you just look at that? All right, of course, we still have to put a flare on it. Flare, Rick Flare. Woo! Woo! Whatever. All right, so how do you think the best way of going? Tell, tell me how you feel like this, what's the best way? I feel like we're in a therapy Perfect. session. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, you need you know, to run to measure it out. And I kind of have an idea. Why don't we use soldering one? To kind of bend it and see. I mean, of course, we'll have to rebend it, but at least we know how much we need. Does that sound good? I mean, let me just stick in the hole there. Okay. Yeah, just hold that right there. Hold it in the hole. Um, we're going to come this way. Right there. And I think we'll do here. We think, should we do a bend over? <laughs> bend over. There's a the child good? present. Okay, so basically right there. So. It 
It's okay, I suck at soldering, so I'm not worried about this. Alright, so basically kind of like that. I think we might have shot it, but we can always cut it. So, I guess we should straighten this out and see how long a piece we need, shouldn't we? What? Would you just look at that? Like I'm like trying to get your reception with the TV. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Let's measure this out. Let me. Alright, so you're saying we're building steel, right? From inside? Yeah. Okay, so, okay. We want to, here, grab that. We want to bend it. Easy with it. Still with it, it's copper. Okay. We're going. Alright, right there. Hang on, I have a tool for this. I'm totally prepared. Like, we, we're doing this like. You just look so excited. I think it was good, good. I have a cutter. What you like break or something? That'd be heartbreaking. What's that? I don't know what that is. What is that? You're in the inside of your pipe. Huh? You're in the inside of your pipe. That's a ringer. You know, right there. Right. Right there is good. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it back up. You getting this beautifulness? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Woo! Tell me I ain't a professional. You ever use one of these? Mm -hmm. Really? Are we fancy? Yeah, look at that. I mean like, back in the day, when we had to fix stuff, you literally bought what's already done, and if, if it was like four feet too long, you just started zigzagging it and shove it up under there and you had brakes. This, I'm trying to do it right. Call me Mr. Ghost. Do it right. Call me Dr. Ghost Right. Oh, Alright, yeah, look at him. He, he's over here being professional. Is that is that how you ram it out? Yeah. It's kind of small. Alright. Don't be pointing at me. All right, and I have a I got this. All right, so I do have a bender and drinks lots of beer. Get it? A few trauma. All right, how do you want to do this? Probably need to flare this one and put it in there first, not one. I've got a flare. Yeah, I hope it goes down small enough. Three sixteenths? Yeah, right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess we just clamp it down in there. Mm -hmm. Probably should do it this way. Or how far should I go? It's right there? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Uh, no. Uh. Okay. I mean, I should have. I, I sure I would find this out myself, like four rolls later. Eh. Save this a bunch of money. Eh, okay, there we go. Watch this. I'm about to ream this mug.
Well, went too far, didn't it? All right, see that right there? Watch it. By the way, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to see. Oh, sorry. Won't do no sound effects. Okay, we're good. Let's see if I reamed it or like flattened her out. Good. Looks good to me. There we go. Hold on. Woo! Popping bottles like a G6, man. Hear that song? Yeah. Oh. What? Look at that. Looks like a hovercraft thing. Look at that. I'll tell you what. Would you just look at it? Just look at that. Is that good? You like that? Yep. Boom. That worked. It's cold outside. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> There's a child present. Quit. She can hear you. Well, he's like 50, man. No, he's not 50. 50 and a half. Yep. He's camera shy, too. All right, so probably want to put a bin, what about right there? <laughs> well, he can't see because your hand. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Here, I got a marker. You want a marker? You're just like waiting to draw on something. Again. Okay. Right there. Hmm. All right. Can you give me a three eight? Is it necessary? Yes. You say three eighths? Yeah. <laughs> it's got that anti close. You gotta hit it three times. I remember my first time using a wrench. I was building a log. Uh, but, 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 but log, log cabin, log, Lincoln, Lincoln logs. logs. Lincoln logs. Why'd you have a wrench? He said, hey, with Lincoln logs. <laughs> you was doing I had, that incorrectly. I had to install some plumbing. I bet you did. That's like me talking about the All little right, stacky so. thing. Listen, I don't know how this goes. Listen, I just bought it like a year or two. <laughs> All right, so I should probably do it the other way. <laughs> well, eh, eh, got it. Probably should have done with the little side. Here, let me slide. But now you say something. I ain't these what these are for, too. Uh -oh. Don't you think you can bend it with these? I'm not sure. All right, look at that. That's almost like a perfect bend. This thing's stupid. <laughs> I know.
Go right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need a little bit more of a bend. Here, can you loosen so I can bend it up some? Bend it up a little bit so it goes this way, then we want to curve it. Probably need to put a little bit of a sweep there, don't we? Here, here push down. All right. Oops. All right. Yeah. Let's see it. Probably come up, don't we? With that bend right, right there. Think we can straighten that back out? I don't know, we can that. Yeah, but it won't go under the thing. Well, you want a little slack in it that way if you ever have to take this off. We'll bend it up a little bit. I'm like super picky with this one. Much better. Perfect. Right there. What do you think? Well, it don't matter what we think anyway, because you're going to do what you want to do anyway. Tell him. That's what I tell him all the time. It don't matter what I say. You're going to do what you want to do anyway. Am I wrong? No. Better be, better be nice to me. Or the, the, the Durango... Santa won't come. My Durango's already out there. All right, so we'll go what, about it that way. What oh, I, oh, I see his elbow. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's more important for me to see you. <laughs> uh -oh. you know how you gonna get it off? Push, I like how he looks for you for advice on that. Like, what do I do? Look at that. <laughs> Talk junk. <laughs> it's my specialty. You know this. What do you think? That right there. Put yeah. it over. What do you think? Bring it back right there. Right there. Go for it. Yep. Dang, man! That look pretty good. I do like that copper against that black. Tell me, don't it look good? It like I'm actually thinking, like, why don't you do that copper? Yeah, but we'll have purple though. Oh yeah, I forgot you're doing purple. We think we should cut that up. So like there. a little kid. <laughs> think that or more. Well, you gotta leave enough when you flare it. Yep. Pull it right here. Yeah. I'd rather have more than less, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that should be good. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> scared me. Batteries blinking.
All right, so we got everything in. Um, I know some of y'all will be like, oh, why'd you wrap around that, stupid? Um, Should have put it in the holder. I don't want to put it in the holder. I want it like that because eventually, actually, hopefully here soon, um, I'm going to be taking this out. But it's got me thinking. I ordered a really pretty purple. It's like a chrome color. Um, but, man, does that copper look good? So I don't know if I want to do this in... Uh, black or i mean like copper or purple because if i can't find a cover for it i'll probably do this one but i found one that it was chrome i really don't want chrome i'd rather have just a stainless or something like that and then we can powder cut so really don't know yet what i want to do with this but i want to look online but everything else seems to be good everything's nice and tight i love it it's gonna look really good we got a new thing now the hose Actually, goes back on here, but we'll probably get a new hose and everything so it don't look all crap. But I guess it's kind of like a, a breather for the uh, rear end. If I can get, <laughs> I can get this on here. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. So, this was supposed to have a piece here, I'm thinking. Or, it was like down here. I'm, I might be down here don't know but we got to make this a little holder for this definitely we'll get that but i like it i think it looks pretty good all right so that is going to for that do it for this video i know the vlogs has been really long but i've been doing it a lot of times like in the evening and everything but hopefully the next vlog fingers crossed we will try this bad boy out somebody was like you should do a review and I'll, I'll do a review on how bad i'm how terrible i am with it but I'm hoping it's going to do pretty good. I've seen some videos and everybody's like, you know, it does work good. So, definitely have to try it. I'm still thinking. I'll, let me know in the comments. Should I go with the Illusion Purple or, um, like, Copper Color for the rear end? Because the inside of the truck is actually Copper Color. So, let me know in the comments. But I was actually wanting to paint the top. A deep metallic purple but i think a deep metallic purple and copper would go together so i might enjoy that anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video also the next video i will be announcing something pretty cool that's going to go down towards spring and everything when it gets nicer and stuff i think it's going to be pretty cool but i will definitely be announcing that in the next video anyways guys this is ghost And Chris, <laughs> we're out of here. Hi. Woo! America. You forgot Georgia. And Georgia. She's in there going, America.